today is World Heart Day. Happy Heart Day to everybody. My name is Dr. Jennifer Franke. I'm a cardiologist and the medical officer of cardiology at Philips. I have invited today two cardiologists for a discussion on cardiovascular disease. So what is happening with us as a population and what is your view on where we are today with regards to cardiovascular disease? I think the issue is that we know what to do, how to treat cardiovascular disease, but unfortunately, poor lifestyles are dominating the pictures. The focus on cardiovascular prevention and treatment has really been a success the last decades. And um, we are reaping the benefits now in terms of knowledge, but I agree, completely agree, that the big concern now is implementation. Where do you think, where do digital technologies, where do you see them actually engaging with patients? There is a democratization going on now, and that is not least due to wearables. We have an opportunity now to capture physiological information on a large scale that we haven't been able to before. The patient portals um, are, are an absolutely wonderful opportunity for engaging patients on a personalized level, but then also to address the fragmentation within healthcare. It's all about building a more resilient future healthcare system post COVID, right? And um, which adaptive measures of care delivery do you think will really stick? I think more is needed to be learned about the specific circumstances that telehealth is optimal, but I do think that telehealth is here to stay. Around this development of AI in cardiology, what excites you the most? As we learn through AI how to monitor uh, for for dangerous heart rhythms, I think it's an extremely ex exciting opportunity to avert and abate dangerous uh, arrhythmias. Also for patient activation in terms of the vibrations and nudges to get people standing, moving, breathing, all of these uh, sorts of uh, nudges that are available uh, through these watches. I think it's very, very exciting. We will be able to detect very, very subtle patterns that are associated with disease and with uh, future heart uh, disease that we are not uh, able to, uh, to uh, diagnose right now. Is there anything you would like to share with the general audience around cardiovascular care, which was really meaningful to you? What I tell all of my patients and from a focus on prevention is to move is to live and that we know exercise is a huge prevention strategy for developing cardiovascular disease. Number two, to not ignore the silent killer of high blood pressure, which we know has the highest population attributable risk for development of cardiovascular disease. And number three, as part of that, as part of preventing hypertension, to watch sodium. A message of hope that we are getting better at diagnosing heart disease. We essentially know what causes heart disease and now we just need to do it. Mm -hmm.